Hi, I'm Rob, the administrator at Beemaster Forums. Today, with the help of my son Blake, we're going to do a series of videos that talk about frames, frame type, frame styles, and how to assemble frames. We have a lot of hobbyist and beginner beekeepers on our forums, and that's one of the things that seems to uh, be difficult for them to comprehend. It's a lot of information up front that's overwhelming. Uh, you go through your various V catalogs, there's all different types of frames and styles, and for the beginner, it, it can be difficult to know which one you really need. Okay, here you see I have a clear hive body. I'd like to thank my buddy Golf Cycle from V Master Forums. He graciously donated this to me. Uh, I use this when I do, do presentations for, for kids, like at schools or scouts. Um, it gives a good view of the inside components of a hive and comes in real handy and hopefully it will be handy here today as well. As you can see I've loaded it with various types of frames of different sizes and, and, and styles. So let's open it up and take a look and see what we got. Starting with the smallest, this size isn't readily available. I'm sure you could still special order from some bee companies but most catalogs don't carry it. Um, it was mainly used for a cut comb honey. Then we have our standard shallow frame, which is also used for cut comb or can be used as a honey extracting frame as well. Then on to the more standard style frame, the medium or Illinois medium. Uh, this is originally was used for honey supers and extracting honey. Uh, a lot of people are switching to it this day for, for brood as well to have a more consistent stock of equipment. They can intermix both brood and, and honey supers if all their equipment is the same. And then finally we have the deep. Uh, this is used for brood rearing. Uh, some people have consolidated all their equipment to deeps and use it for for honey extracting as well. However a deep 10 frame deep full of honey or even a 9 frame deep full of honey is 100 pounds or so and and can be tough on the back. You can also buy one piece plastic frames. This one happens to be a drone frame but you can buy it with regular size pattern uh, foundation in it. One thing that I'm not too fond of on these plastic frames is they're very flexible as you can see and when it gets loaded with with honey or brood and it gets a little bit heavier it's a little bit more difficult to handle and especially there's really not much meat here on the top bar for your frame grips to grab so you have a better chance of dropping these than, than you would a wooden frame so my preference is even if you want to use plastic foundation is to go with the wooden frame it's much more rigid and, and I, I think you'll find it uh, works better for you another option is fully drawn plastic frames these have the cells completely drawn in plastic so the queen can start laying in it and the bees can start storing honey pollen as well uh, no need to wait for a foundation to be drawn out this here is called permacomb it's a medium sized frame uh, you'll find people either love permacomb or they hate permacomb there's a couple things that I particularly don't care for about it uh, one is as you can see it's shorter than a normal medium frame so if you use in medium supers you'll get a, a larger than needed space between the frames below it and the bees will draw a burr comb in there and if you're using it in honey frames <clears throat> or honey supers rather they'll fill it with honey and when you break the super off to, to remove it you'll have honey running and, and stuff other people like that idea because it gives the bees a place to draw drone comb and raise drones if they're using it for brood um, the other part you gotta be careful about with this is there's no built-in frames facing in the end bars whereas Hoffman style bar you can see it has built in so you get the proper spacing between the frames when they're butted against each other whereas with the permacomb if you get two permacombs together I mean they'll sit right flat against each other so either you gotta use supers that have frame spacers built in or you have to be careful when you set a super that you space them and you don't move or jar that, that hive until, uh, before the bees get the frames uh, locked down in place otherwise you, you'll get you know all kinds of odd comb spacings the other option on fully drawn is a relatively new product called honey supercell 
Now, unlike Permacomb, this is sized for small cells, 4.9 millimeter. Um, so people that uh, want to go back to Regress B to help fight Varroa, uh, this works well. You can regress your bees in one step by putting them on Honey Supercell. Honey Supercell comes in white, it comes in black, and it also comes in green. And as you can see, like a Hoffman frame, it has the frame spacing built right in, so you butt them together and the bees have the space to work as needed. One thing about, talk about colors, um, plastic foundation you can get in black and it's really nice when you put it in a frame and the bees draw nice white wax cell walls and light shines through those cell walls against the black background the egg, when a queen lays an egg in there, it stands right out. So for a beginner, a hobbyist, black plastic uh, foundation works really well to help see eggs. I was hoping for the same when I bought the black HCS, but the problem with, with this is the cell walls are also black plastic, unlike when you use the black foundation, you get the white walls. The black walls don't let any light go through. So you're actually like looking into a black hole and you can't see anything in the bottom. So the queen lays eggs in there. You can't see them any better than you can with the white. Uh, so I don't necessarily buy the black anymore. I prefer the white because it allows me to see easier. And once they lay in it one or two times, the cell darkens up and you can see uh, fine from there. Okay, so now that we've gone through the different frame types, let's talk about the styles of frames that you can buy. Okay, there's two basic styles of frames that are popular. Uh, one is the grooved top bar and grooved bottom bar usually used together. You can see they're solid with just a simple groove in it. Uh, they're mainly used for when you use plastic foundation. You build the frame and you just snap the plastic foundation until it lines up in the grooves. The other popular frame type is a wedge top bar and mostly used with the grooved or, or split bottom bar and although it looks pretty much the same as the solid groove bar with the wedge they put an extra cut here so you can snap that wedge out uh, you assemble your frame with the with the split rails in the bottom and what that allows for it allows you to slide your piece of wax foundation in and then use your wedge to hold it um, I have a frame right here with, with foundation in it. You can see here's the groove where you slide your, your foundation down through. And here's the wedge that's stapled in place to pinch the foundation uh, into the frame and hold it. You'll also notice the wires, but we'll talk more about wiring um, in another segment. Okay, that about wraps it up for this session. We had a good overview on the frame sizes, frame types, top bars, bottom bar styles. Um, hopefully you found it educational and hopefully you'll join us for the next session where we'll start talking about frame assembly.